like mm, but I da 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 I'm loving it. Um. Hey guys, this is Kitty here, and today we are looking at my first impressions, first look at the Sims 4 Laundry Day stuff that came out yesterday, and I'm hyped. Um, so we are ha we are having our um, gorgeous Scarlet Bayer from our 100 Strays Challenge do this for us, and we're gonna start with her. Um, so this is the first shirt. I really enjoy it. It looks like custom content, um, in a good way. This one, though, I fucking love. Like, mm, -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. Um, legit. I just... Ooh, and this one even has some plain swatches as well. Uh, yeah. No, I'm obsessed. Um, I think I like that one the most. Um, then we have this ruffly, off-the-shoulder kind of, um... Oh god, I can't remember what that's actually called when it's not, like, positioned right. Um, um, which is cute. I do enjoy it. Um, more simple than the rest, but I like it. Ooh, and it even has some with patterns. I enjoy that. And then the last top for our women, um, is a cute little halter that crisscrosses in the back. Um, and it's a crop top and comes in about the same amount of colors with a few with patterns. Um, and I really enjoy the patterns a lot more than I normally like patterns, which is weird. Um, but I do enjoy them, so not gonna complain. So I got one pair of pants for the females, which is a little disappointing, but it is only a stuff pack, uh, so, you know, and these are super cute, actually. Um, very simple, um, but very cute, just a little belt detail. And they're skinny jeans, so I'm not gonna complain because this girl loves skinny jeans. Hi, hello, that's me. We have socks. Are they technically under? The, they're technically under the leggings category. Um, and that bugs me a little, uh, but it's fine. Um, very nice, like cable knit stockings, or not cable knit, um, but knit stockings. Um, in some plain colors, but they're cute, so bish can't complain. Ooh, I like those. I actually have boots that are kind of this material, um, and they're like a little darker than that color actually, which is interesting. Um, and mine have a zip up the side, they're really cute. Um, but anyways, yeah, these are like, I don't want to say faux fur, like velvet e texture almost, I guess. Um, that's what I'm gonna call it anyway, like a velvet texture. Ooh, I like these a lot actually. Um, it looks like these are just a recolor of the ones we got with backyard stuff, um, and like maybe a slight retexture, um, but they're super cute, so once again, not gonna complain. The one dress we have, ooh, this is very boho, um, like I said when the trailer came out, I feel this is more boho than it is like country chic, um, but that's just me. Okay, hairs. Okay, so we did get these two hairs that we saw in the trailer, um, and I imagine, yeah, the headband does change with, uh, whatever color hair you have, which is nice. There is this, which is, like, a messy bun with a clip, or, like, a messy, I don't know what to call that, but it has, like, a little butterfly clip in the back, um, and the butterfly clip changes colors with the colors of the hair as well. And this is just kind of a random mail I generated. Mmm. I love this hair um, that I saw in the trailer and I was like, ooh, <laughs> um, I, I really enjoy this hair. Um, I don't know why. Clothes! Ooh. And how do I feel about this? Um, I like the color combos and like the patterns on it. Ooh, we get a dirty one. Um, but I don't like the texture. Um, personally it kind of looks like bad CC, but that's just me. I don't- Ooh, I do like this one a lot. I saw it in the trailer and I was like, hmm. Um, yeah. This one is probably by far my favorite. The like- The fact that that's like sticking up so much bugs me. I don't know. I'm- I'm very picky about male clothes. I'm picky about clothes in general, but like- 
I don't know. I feel like it should have been a little more floppy, but whatevs. And the last shirt we have for males is very similar, uh, just like inverted the patterns or colors um, onto the uh, sleeve part on the outside. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys know what I mean. And they have these pants, which are some ripped jeans, which aren't bad. I have these drop crotch kind of trainer, or not trainers, joggers. Um, oh yeah, wow, they get wild. That's fine. I did not expect the wild patterns at all, but that's just me. Um, okay, we're lying to Jen here um, by saying we have new things. Outerwear. Outerwear. What is this from? That's not from... That's from Cats and Dogs. Why are you lying? Um, yeah. Okay, so that's all the stuff for the males. Yeah. Um, now we are moving to the little girls. Um, I think... They don't have any hairs. Uh, oh, that's just one of the hairs that came with cats and dogs. Um, for clothes, this dress. This dress is so cute. Um, I I saw this in the trailer and I loved it. Um, I wow, it's it's really cute and like adorable and I just I love it. Um, yeah, that's it's so cute. I love it. Um, nothing there. Do we have any boy stuff? I assume no boy hairs. Clothes. Okay, so the female toddlers are ignored, so I assume the male toddlers are gonna be ignored. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm a little bitter. Um, it's fine. <laughs> okay, guys, so I am here with everything that came with the stuff pack. So first off, I am going to start with the pre-made rooms that they gave us. Um, and obviously these come in a few different colorways, but I just kind of chose the first one that popped up. So this is the first one, like a really cute little outdoor area. I really enjoy it. Um, these, I believe, are actually usable by toddlers. You can hang your laundry up here. That's a base game, base game light? Base game light, I think? Yeah, base game light. Um, that's one of the new doors we got. I love these, like little herb things um this little plant's adorable the rug the table the candles everything about it is wonderful and then we get in this room down here which is just like a little laundry room it has the stacked washer and dryer there um one of the new sinks ironing board um a broom and dustpan a laundry rack and just like one of the like shelves hutch things the new rug and the light bulb and um, these are just a single light bulb for lights. We get two different kinds of doors. They're essentially the same door, except one has like a curtain or like a shade thingy over it. Um, so they come in quite a few colors. Um, all black, all white is always a good option. And then like some more colorful options and like a white and brown, which is nice. And they do come in the same colors. And um, this is the Piste de Resistance. Um, that I have been obsessed with ever since I saw it in the trailer. This window, I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Um, I'm definitely making window seats with this. I, um, uh, I have so many feelings about this window and they're all good. Um, so that's like all the build stuff. And then we're getting to the my catalog. So first off, I'm gonna go over the seats and tables. Um, these are just like a series of wicker furniture, which is adorable and it comes in a lot of colors actually. Um, and obviously this one only has one color option to change versus the two. So there's like a few less options, but they all like match the wicker colors. Um, and now we are, this is like an ottoman. I think that's what, yeah, the bottom in, it's an ottoman. Um, just comes in quite a few colors. I really love, ooh, and they even did patterns on some of them. Um, I really love just all the choices they gave us for this pack, like the color options. The dining table, very cute, very classic. I love it. I believe it can fit six chairs at it, which is always a plus. Um, and then we are down here to this little side table. Um, has the same colors as the other tables, you know, because in every stuff pack, everything is, like, all the color options are the same. 
And then there is this table, which is very similar to the one from Parenthood. And there is this little side table with like lots of knickknacks on it. Um, and I think that's super cute. And um, the stuff on top it are like their own separate pieces. Um, so you can change those individually. And then we have another one of these like hut shelf things. Um, we got one of these with parent or um, not Parenthood. We got one of these with cats and dogs as well. And then there is this hutch, which I assume you can, like, put shit on. Okay, yeah, I was like, if you can't put shit there, like, what is the point? Um, here are some just little cluttery things that I have around. So this is, like, a little soap bottle, uh, just three simple colors. Um, a bucket with, like, some cleaning stuff in it. Pile of baskets, I guess. Um, and this changes, you know, the basket colors, which is fine. Um, and this... The candles I love. Oh, my cat was in here. I didn't even notice. Um, but it just changes the wood color that's around it, which is the cute in my opinion. This is another, like, cluttery kind of statue piece thing. Um, I think it's super cute. Can you only... Is there only one color? And there are multiple colors. It's just being a pain in the ass. Um, next up over here, um, shelves. So for shelves, we have three different ones. Um, this one is honestly my personal favorite. Um, it's just like a bunch of like baskets kind of nailed to the wall um, with some like shelves in between it. And I really love it. Um, very country style. Very interesting. Then there's this one with like some knickknacks on it, um, some clothes hangers and baskets and like a little plant. Um, and just comes in the a kind of standard quote-unquote colors that we got with this pack and then there is this one that um also has like hangers and some baskets on it um comes in the same eight colors as well next up we are moving on to wall decorations and this one i pointed out while i was looking at the trailer the adorable like woven wreath um and i love it so much and then we get this little washboard um just in a light and dark wood we get the broom and dustpan in a handful of colors, uh, only five, like nothing, I mean there's nothing too fancy to recolor there anyway. Um, this is a towel rack, I believe? Yeah, a towel rack. Um, very, very simple, still very cute. Um, comes in six of the wood colors. This is one of the other things I also pointed out when I saw this in the trailer. Um, this is like a little herb rack quote-unquote rack I guess um I don't know I really enjoy it I feel like I'm gonna have something similar to this in my kitchen um when I get my own place one okay well I'll go here first this is a ironing board board separated um by itself just six colorways nothing too special and then this is the washboard the ironing board and the towel rack all together in one so um just makes the colors match together really well and I think it looks very nice. Um, and now we are on to some plants. So first off is this little um, grouping of three plants. Super cute. Um, a basket of pine cones. I kind of hate pine cones um, because when I was little my grandmother um, had me do take up, like go in her yard and pick up pine cones um for like ten dollars for like because i was working for like an hour or so on it and she gave me like ten dollars after so i just kind of hate pine cones now um and then we have this one which looks like a lot of succulents um just kind of in this on like a little stool um stool bench thingy um some very cute colors definitely would put this like on a porch or something um, and then we have this little tree that I was also obsessed with when I saw the trailer. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to get it. Um, comes in the eight standard wood colors, I assume. So, like, the wood and the tree changes. So, like, with the yellow, the tree is super bright. Um, while with the darker wood, it's, you know, darker leaves. Um, makes sense. A very cute love. Love, love, love. Um, now we are on to the rugs. Um, and these are all really cute. Um, and I made a comment in my trailer. I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. I made a comment in my trailer overview video 
when I saw these ones, I was like, oh, those are all grouped together. I wish we could have them separate. But wait, they are separate. The Sims team, they're just... I, don't, I love them uh, so much. It's fine. Um, so I guess I'll start with the simplest one first. Um, very dull, muted colors. Uh, you know, just kind of a simple rug. And then this one has like an aztec -y, quote unquote pattern on it. Uh, four colors, very cute. I really enjoy it, um, actually. Then there is this one over here, which just has some kind of wild, crazy patterns on it. I really enjoy it. Um, and then like these woven rugs, which are super cute. Um, I've always enjoyed rugs like this. And we're done, I think. I think. But wait, there's more! Billy May is here. Um, I'm not Billy Mays. It's fine. Um, so these are separate objects. I probably should have made that clear. Um, so we have the stacked washer and dryer. Oh, you, oh my god. You can, okay, you can change the colors by themselves. Um, but this is like one object. What? Oh my god, I'm stressed. So this is one object, right? So you can buy it in a catalog and have, like, you know, both of them here, but you can change their colors separately. But can you, like, stack the single ones? You can't stack the single- Okay, I have a slight problem with that, I guess. Um, I don't know. And you can, like, move them separately. Okay, so, like, is it cheaper that way? So 500 and then 525, that's a, that's 1,025. It's the same price, like, I guess that's just if you want them stacked. Um, that's interesting. I want to see, wait. So, like, if you move them from unstacked, can you move them? Okay, you can move them back to stacked. So, like, ideally, I guess, just get a stacked set. And then, like, if you want to move it, you can. But, like, you can stack it back again. I guess. I mean, like, that's, I don't know, that's a little weird to me. But whatever. Um, and yeah, lots of colors. Um, hello. Hello. Um, so many colors, like a baby pink, a mint, a bright orange, bright red. Um, pretty much every color you could ask for. Um, so the washer and dryer obviously come in all the same colors, which is nice. Um, and then there's the stacked version and then the single version. I'm not going to go through all the colors in the single version. Um, and then we get two little sinks here, which I think are pretty cute. Um, now the sink for parenthood kind of all makes sense. Um, I don't know, I, the sink for parenthood, uh, personally kind of looks like it belongs in a laundry room, um, though I do use it in bathrooms all the time, but I just kind of see that more outdated and stuff like that, um, so I think it fits. Um, I like this sink, but I do like this one a lot more. Um, I don't know why, really? And then we have this little tote here with the, with the, um... With the that thing in it, and you can change the colors of the tub. Only six colors, um, nothing too special. And then we have the three different hampers they gave us. Um, so they're all wicker, just kind of different variations of colors. Um, well that one's all wicker, obviously. This one's like a plasticky kind of one that you would get like at Walmart or Target or whatever. Um, very cute colors, many colors as well. Um, and then this one looks wicker-y, kind of. Um, but it comes in lots of kind of brighter colors and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and then last, but certainly not least, we have our clothesline. I got so excited when I saw this in the, in the trailer. Um, like Loki, I did. Um, okay, so, I'm gonna play a little bit. Um, it comes in lots of colors, obviously. So I want the toddler, because if I remember correctly... The toddler can come splash in this. How do you, like... How do you get... Like, how do you get, like, dirty clothes, I guess, is what I'm saying. Like, do you just change your outfit and then... Dirty clothes appear on the lot? Or... I don't know. Can we, like... Okay, we can upgrade it, but, like, how do we... How do we get... Why did it have an upgrade option? Okay. Um. I don't know how you get dirty clothes, necessarily. Um. 
Let's see. Okay, I'm going to have, like, all of them change. Change to that. Scarlet. Um, and then, oh, wait. And then, oh, she's naked. That's fine. Um, and then you can change to that. Oh, your responsibility is going down. Change outfit to that one. I guess. Um... This is, like, really dumb, but I just don't know how it works, I guess. Um, cause, like, low-key, I'm a little dumb. Um. I don't know. Oh, okay, so this one has laundry. Okay, so, ooh, search pockets. Go search the pockets. What does that do? Is there a pop-up or anything after? I want there to be a pop-up. She doesn't look like she can find- Oh, she got- She got 18 simoleons. That's interesting. I really enjoy that. Do laundry. Okay, so you can wash it in the wash tub. Um, hang on clothesline. Those clothes are already dry. So you ha- Okay. So, wait, I want to see if she can wash them. No, okay. Um, so- I don't know. I guess that's kind of it. Like, you, you guys know what doing laundry looks like. If not, plenty of other people have covered it. Um, yeah. So, I know this video was, like, a little long. Like, sorry, not sorry. Um, I was pretty excited for the buy build stuff in this pack. So, that's kind of why I went a little overboard. Um, but yeah. So, I think that is the end of this video. Um, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your next world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I post new videos all the time. So I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you guys want to become a popper, be sure to hit that subscribe button.